Okay, admit it. You're gonna have to work your ass off to do anything important in life, right? <laughs> I don't know what it is we have in our nature that we all want things to be easy, you know, and we get so frustrated and angry when it's just not easy. We think everybody else in life has it so easy. Oh, they were married to this person, or, or they had this family income, or they had this, and they had that, and our life is so tough. <laughs> I think everybody's life is tough. Sure, some are tougher than others, but it's going to take a shitload of work to get something done in life. And, and sure, maybe you may get lucky and I found people that happens and they're the one I put in my infomercial. And, and they're outliers. And, and with so much media, you can always find these outliers. But 99, 44, 100% of the rest of us have to work our butt off to do the things we really want to do in life. But what I'm trying to do is show people, man, there are options to do it. I mean, you can't get things in your way like lack of money because there's always an option way to do it. You know, if you don't have money, you find a way to do it without money do the same thing. Use some other resources and, and partner with other people. There's ways to do that. You know? And that's what I'm trying to show people to do. <laughs> These other ways. Or there's free money to get stuff done. There's free legal help. There's free, you know, almost any kind of help you need is free, but it's options that you can't find because it's not in Google. They're, they're free, so they don't have money to advertise for you to show up in Google and you never find them. So that's what I'm trying to do is educate people that, okay, you're going to have to do a lot of hard work to get anything. But the help is out there, the resources are out there, and there's free resources. And I'm trying to show people free resources that helps them do the things they want to do in life, whether it's getting an education or you know, starting a business or becoming a freelancer or, <laughs> or helping a family financial situation or whatever, there's always this free help. And, 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 but it's not going to come to you. See, that's the thing. It takes effort on your part. People are not going to run up to your door. The people that are going to run up to your door and want to help you are the people who want money from you. That's the reason that they're spending their energy to get you because you're in trouble and they're going to sell you something. But to solve the problem yourself, you have to do the work. You know? And that's what it ha happens. But you also have to believe the help is out there. You know, and that's what I'm trying to do with my research and whatever and the prepackaged research I have, you know, is it, show people there is help out there, you know, and, and, and you can do it. But yes, it's going to take work. It's going to take effort on your side. But tell you the truth, the fun part is the hard part. Because <laughs> if it's real easy, then you wouldn't feel like you're really living. <laughs> and you couldn't be a cantankerous, cranky old guy. <laughs> because you did it your way. You did it the hard way. Life didn't come easy because it doesn't come easy to people. And if it came easy to you, then you can't relate to the rest of us. And that's why the effort in life is, is realizing, I think, that it is hard and everybody is struggling. And to appreciate that. And if we could just, you know, appreciate that together and, and, and go through life. And we're all struggling and, and to encourage each other to struggle because that's what it's about. Well, don't be late today for class. Well, actually, it's not my class. It's my office hours <laughs> after class. And it's at officehours.io slash people slash Matthew Lesko. And I'll be there today at 5 o'clock to 6 o'clock. And I'll give 10 minutes a person, you know, and I'll tell you how to get free money and how to do anything. These are free resources that I want to share with people <laughs> so they can do what they want in life. That's what I'm trying to do. Man, I've been studying this stuff for like 40 years. <laughs> I'm an old guy. But I've been showing millions of people how to take advantage of free resources that are out there in the country. You know, and it's silly that, that most of us put roadblocks in our life to do stuff, you know, when in fact there's free ways to do it. There's always an alternative way. There's always a free uh, source that's out there to help you for free. But see, the free sources don't advertise. That's why you'll never find them in Google. And that's what I want to do is teach people about how to find free resources to do anything they want. Solve financial financial problems, start businesses, go back to school, fix up houses, whatever it is. Sure, it may take you extra work, but man, it's going to get done. <laughs> and, and, and tell you the truth, life is about extra work. <laughs> and that's what happens. But you have to know it's there. And that's why I have these office hours, you know, that I'm trying to show people. Give them a little bit and taste, and I'll show you where to contact that these things are real. Because I, I also do research, and I try to show people that. And, and, 
<coughs> in my website, letsgotutor.com, that we have customized research. I mean, I could show you 150 free sources of money and help to do anything. So today, Tuesday, four to six, <laughs> no, five to six Eastern Standard Time. You know, get a slot because they don't go quickly. If you miss this week, I'll be again next week. And, and if you need some help professionally or whatever, you know, I'm doing that. I have prepackaged research or custom research, you know, and that's at letsgotutor.com. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> this is the old fashioned way with a tin cans and a string. Huh? <laughs> yeah, well, there, there's. Oh, fine. Hold on. Let me have I turn on the speaker. Yeah, okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, what, what do you need? You look for housing or what? Yeah, okay. So, my situation, my finances are an issue right now. I am a full time student. I'm a single mom. Um, I have a small child that's in financially at all. Uh-huh, wow. Struggling for some time, and I'm really ready and motivated to you know, change the financial circumstance as soon as possible. I moved to California about a uh, year and a half ago from the D.C. area. Oh, huh, cool. Where in California are you? I'm in San Diego. Uh-huh. And I missed you just by a little bit because I had a, a show over at Listen Vision also. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah. my goodness. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. Uh, so, um, go ahead. So, out here, but I'm not making money. Uh-huh. And I just want to figure out, you know, how to kind of secure some more stability. Yeah. Um, I get a lot of help from the government right now. Okay. Um, we have a housing voucher. I'm on Section 8 right, right now. And, you know, uh, just various benefits. I get a little bit of money to go to school. Oh, you're going to school now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, full-time. Uh, what are you studying? Uh huh. And uh, so, is that paid for your school? Yes. Great. Okay. Now, I mean, what I would think is that you got to learn how to start making money. I mean, that's the key to everything, right? Uh, and you could, you know, fool around doing all kinds of things, but boy, until you make money, ah, you know, everything else is just temporary. Now, I think the best thing to do is start learning how to make money with the internet. And I don't mean like, uh, you know, go online and find an internet business or none of that stuff. There, there's, now there, there's like the gig economy. That's what I would do. The gig economy, or I see from your photo and everything, you're like, you're like an artist or something like that. Are you? Definitely. Yeah, what kind of art? Uh, I do songwriting, I do music, I dance. Wow. It's my main problem about 10 hours a week. Um, doing fitness and dance. I've lost about 25 pounds just from like fitness. Wow, and wow, fitness and dance. Yoga. Well, God, see, that's what you ought to sell. Yeah. Okay, now how do you sell that? Okay, I mean, you go to yoga studios or blah. There, there's, I think, on the web, look at things like Task Rabbit. I don't know if you know that. This, there are so many websites now uh, that where you can earn money, almost like doing, you know, there's no boss and, and you just pay them a percentage of what you get. And that's great because you can get on there for free. Millions of people are coming to these uh, places every day for free. There's actually one for coaches. There's one for all kinds of things, you know, to do like that. And, and so people, and, and you're in a big market. Do you have a car? I do. It's on its last leg. But oh, okay. It really works. Well, if it works, see, also you could deliver. I mean, they're delivering services now, you know, uh, you know, like delivering meals, delivering all kinds of stuff, you know, as long as you have a car. And see, what's nice for you as a student and a mom and all that kind of stuff, you work when you want to. It's not, nobody's going to say, hey, you got to be here every day from X to Y. No, you just say, hey, I want to work today, maybe an hour, or I don't want to work anymore. Or what, I mean, it is just the flexibility that you need, it seems. You know, uh, for this, and it's not big money. I mean, 15, 20 bucks an hour kind of thing. Uh, and but it, it's something to learn. You know, start generating income, uh, and that's the only way you see other. When you start generating income, then you see other kinds of income opportunities. 
let me send you a big list of stuff like that. Or actually, you know what? Go to peers, P-E-E-R-S dot org. That's an organization of like people who work for these groups. I mean, they're too, this is like the biggest growth area in our economy now, really, is these gig kind of things. All the other jobs are shrinking. So it really fits your personality, I think, and talents and whatever. You know? And actually, you could go on something like Fiverr and say you'll sing a song for people. I mean, it's amazing what people do for five bucks. You know? But then it's sort of like a teaser to do more. Or I'm sure like you could be at parties, you could be, you know, whatever you think of doing, it's sellable. You know? And it's not like, See, the, the, what, this is better than Craigslist or anything like this because everybody there is vetted. You don't have to worry about getting paid because the people who uh, buy your services from these uh, platforms, are uh, 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 they already have the credit card. They're going to pay you, you know, so you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about anything like that, you know, about accounting or any of that stuff. You just have to worry about looking pretty, you know, and you already got that down. So. <laughs> Uh, that's why it, it's a way to make flexible, easy money, it sounds like, uh, for you. So the place to start is peers, P E E R S dot org. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And another thing, okay. keep, keep, I just spoke with somebody, I was helping somebody, I was doing some research projects. There's a woman's commission, uh, the, no, the commission on the status of women and girls, you know, in, in Sacramento. I just called them out. I was helping another single mom who had trouble with apartment rent, all this kind of, you know, real bad legal stuff. Man, this woman was wonderful. She said, try this call. She gave me sources and whatever stuff I never knew about. So you're a mom out there, California, you know, that remember that because they're a clearing house. So where to go for help or something. Another thing, write this number down too, 211. If you need anything, Call that number first because there that's a database of nonprofit organizations that solve any kind of problem. So if you <laughs> anything from you need help with Christmas, your sidewalk shovel, or a new roof or pay a bill, you know. Yeah, I mean I moved into this place. Like my, my oldest brother is one of the main reasons I moved to California. Oh really cool. He's uh he's a surgeon and he runs like a surgery unit. Oh multimillionaire, but for whatever reason, I don't know if he's trying to teach him the lesson. <laughs> <laughs> Fat cats are like that. <laughs> yeah, at all. You know, he doesn't help us out at all. So he lives an hour away in the mountains. I found this place on my Section 8 voucher. Yeah. And it turned out to be a nightmare because I found that I don't even want to get into it. Yeah, well, listen, I have to run. There's somebody else calling in. Uh, okay, so give me a shout on the text message here. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay, my pleasure. Take care. Right. Okay, well, let me show you new ways to pay your bills and debt in San Diego. <laughs> well, I got a quite a bit of a, a big report here of things for you to follow up on. You don't have to do everything right away, but there's a lot of homework here when you're ready. Uh, and I'll go through the highlights uh, of what I have here so you can pick out the things you want to do right away and do the other stuff when you, you have some more time uh, or even think. Because now I hope I, what I give you is new ideas about really how to spend your time or, or, or whatever and not to look at just traditional sources of money and help you know, <coughs> to get by in life because there, there's just a lot of alternative ways to do things and that's what I'm trying to show nowadays. Uh, Okay, first I, I'm going to go through like the city and county and, and the public sources and nonprofits uh, that's available here. And your city, boy, for such a big city, there's not a whole lot, to tell you the truth. But here are some interesting things I, I found that may be helpful uh, soon. Is they have free financial workshops, you know, at the library. Now, people will say, well, you know, the people got a library aren't good or what. Man, I love talking with the library, you know. And I made millions of dollars in my life, so it, it, the library to me is not a bad place to go. It's where you get good, good advice and, and insight and things like that without spending a lot. So don't forget, when you use Google to find something, you're looking for a financial seminar, 
you, you're going to find somebody who, who's going to charge you hundreds or thousands of dollars, and if it's for free, they're there to sell you something for hundreds of thousands of dollars. So I think you get the best, you know, uh, from you know government sponsor because they're paying the bill or nonprofit organizations and things like that. Why waste money when you don't have to? So they got that. Other thing about the library, people don't realize. Because a lot of people really, you know, they may have a computer, but they don't know how to do things on the computer, like how to set up, you know, a store on Etsy or something like that to make some extra cash. And, and there's a lot of libraries that will do that for free. So contact your library. I have a video here of, of a librarian in Maryland who really does that kind of thing. And you'll see if you watch that video why they do that. Okay, another thing, education is so important in our society, and there's something like 25% of, of, of uh, uh, or actually in San Diego, this is an interesting statistic, San Diego, 200,000 people do not have a GED in, in San Diego. So that's 15% of the uh, population over 25 do not have a GED. So the library have scholarships to take a GED, you know, uh, prep course or get your GED online and they give out scholarships for that. So that's interesting because you know that could run you know a couple thousand dollars sometimes you know to take one of those classes. So that's the only special stuff unfortunately maybe <laughs> I've been researching for 40 years I couldn't find anything really exciting after that. But San Diego County is where it starts. Maybe because they both sound the same <laughs> the county takes over. There's a $20,000 grant to buy a home at the county level. You know, this is county money. You know, that's there. There's rental housing assistance. A lot of people know about that, but maybe you don't. Uh, and it, it's good to know about that. So in addition to that, there's also free home care for seniors and people with disabilities. So this is people that come into your home. So if you don't have somebody, you know, fits that description, but take you know, set aside this information because you may be able to help somebody else later. So a lot of this stuff is not just for you uh, today, for your problems, but for problems for tomorrow and really to help other people. And, and that's what things are about nowadays. Okay, here's money for seniors to train for a new job. Now seniors, that could be 40, well actually the official age for seniors in the government is 40 years old because that's when age discrimination starts. But a lot of these programs will go start at 50 or 60 or something like that. And there's money to make money as a home care provider. Oh wait, I looked at, I put this in, it really wasn't uh, on our topic, but they seem to be hiring a lot of people and it's a flexible job. Uh, things like that. So it may be of interest to you or, or someone you know. I mean, they apparently have thousands of people that they pay for to go out and do little things for uh, people who can't get out or have some disability and can't get out. And, and they seem to be always, always hiring. So you may want to check into that. Uh, help and services for caregivers and grandparent givers. <laughs> Actually, grandparent givers. Uh, our, our parents, grandparents who are taking care of like grandkids, yeah. So there's help and services for people like that. Or here's a $50 coupon for, you know, to spray or neuter your pets, yeah. Okay, now here's the important thing is your county there has so many health care services. I mean, there's a listing here. If you go to this website, <clears throat> so these are free or on sliding scale. And you should know about them when it, <coughs> you know whether it's uh, um, to help stop smoking or or you need alcohol abuse treatment or almost anything you could think of. I mean, there's a listing of forty or fifty health services there that, that they have. And remember, it's going to be cheaper than anywhere else, and, and it's, it's likely to be free too. Now, here's an interesting thing I didn't realize about, and maybe it, it, it's unusual in San, San Diego. They have up to $2,200 a month in cash assistance. This is free money for immigrants that are not eligible for other programs. Wow. So, <laughs> you know, we have a, a, a presidential campaign now trying to disparage immigrants and here we have people at the local level you know have a little kinder heart it seems in, in programs okay here's no cost low cost dental care this is a listing of programs for that uh dental care is a lot of problems because there's very little money is set aside in obamacare 
to help cover dental uh, care. So you have to find these kind of programs. There's a list of programs. Now here's another listing of free and low-cost dental centers uh, to Denver. And then another one. So you know, no, no one source is going to have everything. It's like even coming to me. I'm probably the world's best source on, on alternative and free money programs. But I still don't have any, everything. The life's too, I mean, the world is too big for everybody to have something. So that's right. There's three separate databases you should contact there. And and here's your long-term care ombudsman. If you have trouble with anything, you know, uh, grandma or yourself in long-term care, this is a person, ombudsman, they fight for you. Okay. So this is free legal help or for, free fighting for you for long-term care. Uh, okay. Also, a lot of people don't realize Healthcare for seniors. I mean, there's a lot of marketing for that. You know, here, buy this, buy that, or whatever. These are government experts who get grants to help you decide what's the best healthcare program. They're not there to sell you anything like any other professional is because <laughs> they got to make money living. These people make money by getting a government grant, and so they're independent and they can help you choose healthcare insurance, which is nice. Pub public health nurses come and help you for free. That was amazing to me. I never knew about that. Okay. And then also, here's the program where you pay your low income for cash or food assistance, employment service, and medical needs. Okay. That's a one-stop shop for all those kind of basic programs. And here's the Office of Veterans Benefits. You know, it's amazing. Uh, veterans should really know about them. And and I, I did a, a study or found a study, I'm sorry, on people who use them, you know, to get government benefits and everything and they get like you know, almost double the money than if they didn't use them. I mean, these people know the system so well. So this is the government paying another government office so they get more money from the government. Yeah. You know? Wow. So it's interesting, but you know, that's a system. It's all about none of this stuff makes sense. I understand that. It doesn't to me, a lot of it anyway. But it's there. And what I'm trying to do is show people that these are tools that you could use, you know, um, to make your life better. I mean, if you are you hate government, well, fine. Just, just don't use them. But they're there whether you use them or not. Here's $200 to help pay your energy bill. Right. So <laughs> this is a temporary financial hardship. Wow. You know, I need 200 bucks. They got it for you. Okay, money to pay energy for medical devices. See, a lot of times if you have some medical equipment, you're sucking up a lot of energy, you know, and so your energy bills is going to increase, so they give you extra money for that. Or here's 30% discount on your energy bill. Or free home improvements, even if you're a renter. You get free home improvements, you know, uh, for homeowners or renters or, or whatever to make your uh, apartment or house more energy efficient and you won't have such a bill uh, this is an interesting thing you get a, a five dollar discount on uber <laughs> your mass transportation people there are given five dollar discounts so you can use an uber to get from your house to the transit or whatever <laughs> it was just interesting now here's something that um, is a serious thing I think one of the most important things that uh, for people to know about and that's your local 211 number this is a number that will get you hooked up with either a nonprofit or government office for anything these are staff of researchers just not me and my one or two researchers that I have now <laughs> this is a staff that do this forever do it for free they have a database they maintain they get government money you know, and grant money from nonprofits also to do this. And every nonprofit registers with them because it's United Way kind of thing. So every, you know, every nonprofit wants to get in on the United Way deal for getting money. And so they keep a database of them. And that's a place you go. Look, at there's 6,000 organizations. You're never going to find any of these using Google because you're going to find Google like to get credit counseling or something like that. And you're going to find the people who are going to charge you an arm and a leg for this, you know, or they're going to sell you something, pretend it's free, you know. But these people are the people you'll find here who get grant money to solve that problem for free. That's who you want. You don't want people, you know, who are there to sell you something, you know, get a deal on this, get a deal on Man, how do you know the deal? Because all that, their deal is for them to get money from you. So you call that number, you know, or go to their website. I would call too, even though you, but it's fun to go to the website to see all the people there. Like here, for home repair, 41 programs for home repair. Financial assistance. This is, this is somebody's going to give you money for something. 288 nonprofit organizations that give financial assistance. You'll have to 
you know, comb through them or whatever. There's 288. That's why it's probably better to call. Call, hey, where can I go for financial assistance on XYZ? Okay, 18 programs on car repair, right? Who would have thought, you know, that? You know, there's even programs that give out free cars, you know, uh, for people who need it. Financial uh, legal help. Okay, so you, you have financial legal help problems. So you're something with money and legal and law. 1,174 people. <laughs> they're going to do it for free. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's what I mean. Gee, what a country. Uh, and, but the thing is, see, nobody knows about that. I mean, the fat cats will go and hire somebody for $200 an hour or whatever, $300, whatever the lawyers cost nowadays. And here's somebody you could do. You don't have that money, you know, to do it for free. Okay. Free cooking, nutrition, and gardening classes. I get so sorry. I see. I, I run out of time. Oh, we, we don't. Okay. State programs. Another program. Other programs in your state. Okay. The government subsidized mortgage. This is one. If you have a mortgage, call this number now because there's a whole bunch of government programs that could reduce your mortgage and, and give you all other kind of benefits. And <clears throat> don't call a mortgage broker and things like that yet. <laughs> Maybe you want to eventually, but do the free one. These people do it for free. They get money from the government to do it for free. Excuse me. So you don't want to fool around. Do this first. Check it out. See if you can cut your mortgage in half or whatever. And then all kind of programs. You know, since the crash in the stock market, the government set up all kind of programs so people don't lose their house. So make sure you know that. Here's three thousand dollars a month to pay your mortgage. Wow, and that's a California program. And next to three, you know, because of you have trouble. See, who would ever think? Where am I going to get somebody to give me three thousand dollars a month to pay my mortgage? Oh wow, yeah, because I just lost my job or something. That's what this is there for. Okay, there's $15,000 down payment to buy a home. Okay, here, or how about this? You save a dollar and the government will give you an extra $3 for you to save up for a home. Wow, wow, so that means you only have to pay, what, 25% of the, uh, uh, no, it's one to three, so you only have to pay 33%. Yeah, uh, of the down payment. So if they're asking for a down payment of thirty thousand dollars, you only have to come up with ten because the government's going to pay twenty thousand the other stuff. See, I mean that's why who would know? You never see an ad for that, but the banks have ads for them for you to save or get their mortgage from them and all that kind. Of. Okay, now here's the one thing you should do, no matter who you are, and make an appointment with a free financial counselor. These people again are those people who are professionals. I got uh, videos of. Uh, you can see the kind of expertise you get. Watch those videos. These are free people to help you. I got a listing there of everybody in California. Choose one near you. You don't like that person. Uh, excuse me. Just choose another one. Uh, they're all there. You know, <laughs> and they're you know, there to help you solve your problems, particularly the credit, credit card people, all those people. Uh, get help and get it free and get it right away. More man money management counseling. This is from your, your county cooperative extension service. They do a lot of the financial counseling too for money, for free. Uh, they get counselors in for free to help you. They'll even, I have a video there you'll see that uh, uh, the counselor said they even call your creditors and work things out for you there. So if you're afraid to do all that, you know, there, there's help for you. Don't hide. That's the other, the most important thing. Just get out there, start using these sources, you know, and, and find somebody to help or whatever so you understand and don't have to struggle yourself it's out there it may not take one phone call maybe it'll take a bunch of phone calls or whatever but who cares yeah i know i don't know what's the perfect thing to do but i know the thing not to do is nothing so you keep doing something that's the important thing okay now california foreclosure prevention act okay issues you know about that and that's an office that could help you if you worry about losing your home okay energy energy here's more energy bill assistance and a free home fix up you know so they have energy uh payments you know again they help you pay your energy bill give you extra money if you're in trouble paying your energy bill give you discounts on your energy bill or whatever you know here's money and services for people over 60 this is a hotline at the state 
anything you need for people over 60, like me. <laughs> I need a better golf club. <laughs> you can start call, calling that. Uh, okay, uh, $100 to hook up for uh, monthly discounts on a landline or a wireless phone. Okay, this is something. Troops, you know, there's special programs and financial uh, assistance and, and, and to help, you know, uh, our veterans with that. Uh, government attorney will collect your bad check. Somebody writes you a bad check, it's bad, you get a bad paycheck, and there's laws against that stuff. So what are you gonna do as an individual? Yell and scream, hire an attorney, that's gonna cost you a bunch, or they're gonna take half your money or whatever. No, you call this office, this is a government office, you could pe wipe people off the map, <laughs> let alone just sue them. Yeah, that's who you want on your side. The same people who brought you Desert Storm will fight you know, for that bad check. Man, that's what I mean. I always use the free one first. And these are government attorneys. Or how about $75,000 for a crime victim? People don't realize, you know, you're a victim of crime, whether you break your glasses or lose work or have uh, bills that you can't pay. I mean, there, there, there's assistance for that. Grants, money, you don't have to pay back. Okay, local health clinic clinics. Now here's the main uh, database of dental and health clinics in the whole nation. So find out what's there. Again, it's a third database. I gave you some other databases, but Wow, the more databases you have to search, the more <laughs> you know you you you're gonna get lucky. It's like panning for gold. Sometimes you never know where that gold nugget is, but it's not gonna jump out of the river itself and jump in your pocket. Okay. Also, to realize that. There are hospitals out there that have to treat you for free if you can't afford to pay the bill. It's a it's a law, you know. There's there's about 150 hospitals involved in this. Find out the hospitals near you. So if you want to go to some hospital and you're worried about the bill, you go to one of them. <laughs> As a, and free prescription drugs. I mean, there's no reason, you know. It's income based, so it depends. Every there's programs for you to pay for prescription drugs or not pay for prescription drugs if you're not covered. If you're not covered all the way, even. So find out about that. There's a video. This woman explains how she did. She gets $300 a month to pay for a prescription drug. This is interesting. Individual development counts. We can't, can, talked about that. They're like the ones for the a mortgage, but they're ones for all kinds of things. And there's 12 programs in California like that. See, find out about them. So you could put in a dollar, they'll put in $5, and, and it's like winning the lottery. You know, and you could save up to start a business or go to school, anything you want. Okay, here are the top. 25 grants and free services in California. I have them all listed there, where there's health care for kids, 6,000 for groceries, $8,000 to train for a new job, missing deposits, right? Man, go there because there's a lot of money sitting there. My wife, really, she got like 1,500 bucks you know, just by calling that office for her mother. Mother forgot she had that money somewhere, whatever. We forget things, we have a deposit from the phone company we did 20 years ago that's still sitting there you know whatever they also have one for uncollected child support you know if, if you're there's like a, over a half a billion dollars in this you know database of money you just have to call if you're you know somebody owes you bank child support call and, and find out and maybe you get lucky and it only cost you a phone call free prescription drug is there too transportation child care and cash you know to live on or here's the next year like twelve hundred dollars for just for seniors this is money that a lot of them don't know about or free help with paying bills rent and mortgage wow free treatment by the best doctors in the world this is the doctors who study stuff you know and and you can't be treated for a condition locally by your doctor see a lot of well check that source because these are people who are getting grants to study that for free, and you get free health care and everything in addition to it. Money to pay your heating and cooling bills, money to weatherize your home, child support enforcement, you know, uh, 300 colleges that seniors can go to for free. All this is stuff is there. Or, or, or care for your dogs and pet, pet, cats. Okay, now here are videos that describe those 25 programs that I have. <laughs> that I already told you about it. And their videos are only about two, three minutes a piece. So don't worry about getting stuck, you know, for the rest of the afternoon or not. But just choose the ones that you think, you know, you're interested in. And, and I, I give a more detailed explanation about each of those 25. Okay, and then after that, well, yeah, ooh, student loan debt. Everybody seems to have student loan debt, no matter what age you are, you know, you know, 24 or 79, you know, it's, people still carrying around it. And remember that you don't have to 
have a private person call you to fix this. You know, and, and I'll show you the websites here. The government says that, you know, they will handle you know everything because otherwise these other people will just do the same thing for you and charge you money somehow, you know, to do it because they have to because they're advertising to be on Google and pay somebody to talk to you and whatever. But the people, the government already getting paid and they know the laws. You know, why should call somebody, you know, to go learn the law for you when you can write, call somebody who wrote the law and they're free. You know? So that's what this is about. And they have programs there now, you could pay as little as like $5 a month, you know, and, and you know, you'll never get paid, but that's, you never pay it all off. But, you know, fine, they'll forget it after like, 15, 20 years or something, they say, then you don't have to pay anymore. So, you know, they forgive loans that way too. So if you're you're hurting for paying your loans, check this out. It's important. Uh, okay, let's do loans and there's even the plus loans, you know, talk about. And there's government, oh, I know, there's a new law too you should be aware of. If you think the college lied to you, you could get the loan forgiven because they do that. You know, I mean, they say, oh, you're going to make a million dollars with this degree and everything like that. And, and so now they find out people are getting their loans forgiven because they found there's this is in the law, but nobody knew about it until recently. Yeah. <laughs> so they're using that. And so you got to, you know, uh, get back to these sharks by <laughs> using real shark bait. You know, uh, okay, government programs make extra money. Now here is something, $8,000 to learn a new skill. This is something for, it's not a degree, it's for a couple months to learn something. You want to be a massage therapist, you want to know how to code computers or be a graphic designer or something like that. Okay, and there's the website. Find them out those programs. You know, uh, you could be a millionaire and still be eligible, you know, for this kind of money. And that's what's amazing to me is that <laughs> millionaires will find out about it. You know, <laughs> believe me. They're the people I used to work for. That's how I learned all this stuff. And here's free money to live on while you start your own business. That's right. You could use your unemployment money for that. And it varies. I know in San Diego, I, I interviewed someone who did it for that. So they have that there. So instead of having to look for a job, you could use that money to live on while you start your own business. Okay, and also if you want to be a freelancer, if you're looking for a job, you know, and you're not in a traditional job or you don't think you get a traditional job or you have an opportunity that's not a traditional job and you're worried about legal problems, management problems, tax problems, all those kinds of things that come up as an independent, you know, paying your bill, oh, there's free help. There's free consulting help. And they're right there in San Diego. Uh, these again are people who get grants to help you with any kind of problem like that you have. Even as a freelancer or whatever, you, you don't have to hire lawyers and accounts and everything. And they have a videotape there that interview, I've interviewed these people and you'll see, see exactly what I mean. Also, uh, crowdfunding. Now this is important because Crowdfunding is a new way of getting money in our society. Yeah, that's a free money. You don't pay it back. Yeah, you know? and it's easier than government programs. It's free, and not only free money, but it's free to apply. There's no income requirements. Where else are you going to have something that doesn't have a credit check and all this kind of stuff? Nothing. You keep the money forever. There's no complicated forms. It's fast. 30, 60 days. It's all over. You know, fat cats who who, who manage our society aren't involved. They don't determine whether you get the money it's the people man the people tell you you know if you have a good idea so you can use it for your invention your idea you starting a business or anything you know a nonprofit you know it's just a wonderful artists are using it too because they they, they they get more money there than from the National Endowment of the Arts so that's more than the government's given out in grants that's how good this stuff is you know and, and it's it's a better guarantee of success because instead of trying to get a money from a fat cat, oh, I do this, is going to be great, because people are going to buy it. No, you go and buy it first. You have people on the internet say if they would buy this, and that's what people do. They love doing this, you know, and women are more successful at it than men are. You know, this are more, women are making like twice as much money at getting money from this source than men are, because see, half the people who give the money are women. It's not like venture capital and men are running all these other ways of, of, of getting money, but they don't rule this. So that's why we're they're, they're on a level playing field. Man, I have videos of people who've done this. They started with 11 bucks and wound up with $89,000 for their business. 
Now, here's a guy who lived a life of crime and drugs, and he got $8,000, and you know he had a rap sheet probably so big that he couldn't get a loan or money anywhere, but he can on the internet. That's what's so cool. So all these uh, people there read about it. This woman you know, started a blog and a cookbook and got $10,000 and started a whole new career. Young couple, teenagers get this stuff. You know, travel expenses, everything. And also, it's used for paying bills. I mean, look at this. Somebody got $10,000 for a wedding. I'm probably $9,000 pay a, do a dog surgery. You know? uh, or, or here, there's a woman here who, who, who you could help people. You could be a superhero. You could be a, uh, you know, somebody who really helps the community. This lady was following somebody in the, in, who had an accident in front of her, and she stopped. I mean, it was a real bad accident. She was holding this fellow who was hurt in the accident very badly, waiting for the ambulance. You know, his, his hand was gone. It was like somewhere else, you know? And so what she did after the ambulance came and took her, she went on crowdfunding and raised $75,000 for him to get a new hand. Wow, I mean, that's amazing. Didn't have to go to some bureaucrat, didn't have to pay, fill out mountains of paperwork or anything. Just went out, hey, this has to be done. Obama even raises money this way instead of going to Capitol Hill. Here's his website trying to get a million dollars for the refugees or whatever. Because Capitol Hill will play with them to do anything. So he went around them and used crowdfunding. So that's what the rest of us could do. Okay, here's another thing. Peer-to-peer -peer loans uh, and other money like that is is cheaper, better, faster than going to the bank. Now we have platforms. I have them here. Where you go on, you, you get money cheaper than the bank would lend you money, uh, easier than the bank would lend you money. If you want to invest in money, it's better that, and then giving it to the bank who gives you half a percent and lends it out for 12%. Uh, Here, you make 7% and give it out for 8%. You know? So there's no, all these you know, fat cats that are making all this money in the middle are going away. Yeah, so that's what these peer-to-peer uh, -peer lending sites are all about. Uh, community banks, man, they're another thing that people don't realize. These are pe banks that get grant money to make sure the communities profit from you know this money that's being invested and lent to people. Not not investors like you go to a normal bank; they're just there to have, have investors make money. Yeah, you know, not for you, not to be <laughs> to you to worry about you uh, and your ability to pay and things like that. they're more for the community to grow so that's why they're, they're a lot better place they're a lot nicer places to get money than a normal bank and here's a, a way to make extra money too uh, it's really in the gig economy or the the on-demand economy there's so many platforms which means websites where you could go and sign up and get instant money kind of thing, instant jobs. You don't have to worry about insurance. You don't have to worry about paying, collecting the money. All these things are taken care of by the platform. It's a place where people go on, look for things to do. People all over the world like say, hey, I need somebody, I'll pay him 10 bucks an hour to, to pick up the green things and, and in uh, uh, you know pictures on the internet that I, I mean people have weird jobs to do you know that you can make easy money on the internet just say yeah I'll do that I'll do that yeah or, or, or driving people around in your car people are making you know twenty dollars uh, an hour or more doing that I mean a lot of these things and delivery services whatever you have a car there's 30 things you could do you know with that or even lend your car out <laughs> when you're not using we only use our car 10 percent of the time and, and you can go on this plan make it available for other so instead of somebody using hertz and getting having to pay 50 dollars a day or whatever they use you yours and only pay 25 dollars a day but it's extra money for you or your garage or anything there's so many ways you have old clothes in your closet you don't i mean there's websites in there they'll send you boxes you know you pack it up send them and they send you a check yeah. So there's so many new ways. Man, you love pets. You can make thirty, forty thousand dollars in your house. You know, have an extra pet or two because you know people prefer doing that. Bring a pet to a nice house, apartment, or whatever than some some you know kennel that's like a you know, jail for these poor dogs. And people making lots of money. It's a growth business. So these are what I have fifty programs like that and this is where the jobs are growing traditional jobs aren't growing anymore it's these kinds of on-demand jobs that are growing so a lot of people are putting together three or four of these to make a living and really what they're doing is 
than working on what they really want to do in life. If they're an artist or have some little business they're trying to do, but this gives them enough income to keep going. And, and, and on a flexible schedule, that's what's so cool about it. You know, if you go a uh, part-time job and traditional job, they want you there every day, three to nine or whatever the heck it is. Here, you know why I go today? You don't go today. You don't want to work an hour, five hours? You, you want to quit? Or, no, nobody cares. You, know, you don't have to make excuses that your grandmother died. Yeah, <laughs> things like that. So it's a big growth area of our country. Start learning about it. Uh, and there's a, here's an organization, Peers, that, that go there because they have a lot of these that are evaluated. So they could go about the 50 I have, they maybe have 20 of them there. You could tell exactly what people are making, how much they're doing, you know, what it involves, and all the details by an independent party. So that, that's good to see and evaluate what the heck you're doing. Then I have some other opportunities you may not know. You can make money by inviting people over for dinner. That's right. <laughs> or you can make save 40 percent on your automobile repair bills or if you like fixing up cars that's the way you go to somebody's house fix them up car you got tools and everything you know or here you, you have extra land you know you, you live on big property people are making thirty thousand dollars a year doing something extra with their land because they're not using it you know i mean not like people farming or anything but just they, people want to camp <laughs> want to hold a festival they want to do so there's a platform for that you know extra cash with a uh, uh, the phone you, you have a camera you know there's businesses that want you to go oh i want you to take a picture of that uh, that store downtown in your street and they pay you money to go down take it and you just send it to them or whatever you know uh, and there's all kinds of things like that that people don't realize I mean uh, that you can make money of there's more you could be in the real estate business and not only any real estate and I have a video there shows you you have an idea for a t-shirt you can just scribble something here you know either send it to this website they put it up on the website enough people like it they sell t-shirts for you. They make them, they take the money and send you a check. <laughs> wow, <laughs> you start a business. So if you have a t-shirt idea, uh, th this is the way to do it and test it out. And see, any business like that, then I show you any kind of business you want to start, like a store, you can start a store for 20 cents now. That's all you need. Man, before you need hundreds of thousands of dollars. You know, now there's platforms. You have an idea for a store, you put, you put your idea there, you make one product or whatever, put it there, see if anybody likes it, and, and they take care of everything. See, that's what's so neat. That's the, the drudgery of being in a small business, why people didn't do it because they had to worry about accounting, they had to worry about, you know, how are they going to bill people, they had to worry about insurance, they had to worry about, you know, uh, forms with the business, uh, the, uh, you know, the, the government and all that stuff. All that is done by the platform. See? So it's so great now and it's easier and really that's the way we're growing. Whether it's easy or not, I mean, it, to me what's important is that we learn about where the growth is because if all of us are trying to, you know, grab on to what's shrinking, you know, that everybody's trying to jump on that one lifeboat and don't realize there's a big ship right next to us we could just hang on to <laughs> and keep floating by. Right? All we know is that little lifeboat that's going to get crowded and people are going to start acting weird and nothing's going to happen <laughs> except bad stuff. And now here's another thing when bad stuff happens. Uh, I have how to get, uh, well, how, how to not get screwed in life. You know? Oh, first of all, oh, wait, wait, here I have a, um, a download, download the seed book that gets you, shows you how to get a fast $700 of have an emergency. So you don't go to pay late loans or any of those people that are going to rip you off forever. <laughs> you don't want to do that. So download that ebook about that. It, it's six ways of getting a fast $700 to solve your financial problems with no loans, no paybacks, no scams. Okay. And then here, the last one I have is how to get justice and get your money back. So many companies, companies and organizations rip you off. You know, I have a, uh, something here, all the people that regulate these people, everybody's regulated. Your lawyer rips you off. You could, you have an office you could go to that will investigate your lawyer, your insurance company, the same way. And they'll fight for you and won't charge you anything. A lawyer will fight for you and charge you money, right? And you may or may not win. It doesn't matter. And the lawyer's lawyer will be better than your lawyer, but not the government. You get the government to call them and fight. They're bigger than anybody's lawyer because they could put them out of business and they're all set up to handle your complaints and follow up it's usually enough to shake the money out of anybody yeah <laughs> and, and, and get satisfaction and, and another thing is you know you realize that if credit card i mean if collection agencies call you and, and they don't do it to the letter of the law you get a thousand dollars from them 
So they're scared as hell as that. So here's where, who to contact about that. Or just know about the law because they're not supposed to harass, harass you. They're not supposed to call you dinner. They're not you know, supposed to call you back if you tell them not to and all this kind of stuff. But they do because they know that's the only way they get the money if they scare the hell out of you. you know? <laughs> but that's illegal. So find out your rights in dealing with that. The whole thing is in life, I think, is, is knowing your options. You know? And the people know their options. You know, it, it makes life a lot easier. You, you you don't feel trapped. You don't get that fear. You don't have that, you know, pressure on your back or psychic or whatever. And that's what I'm trying to do is show people that. And, and if in what I have here and giving you isn't enough, there's three places you can always go to that will do extra research for you. And that's your... Um, your uh, three, 211 that I told you about, uh, your local library that I, you know, is a great place. I have videos there of how they want to help you with anything. And also your elected official. And I have videos there of how they are there to help you. I mean, the fact can't use these people. I have a list of all your local officials you could call, contact, how to find them. And just call their office. They have people in their office just getting paid to help solve your problem because if they solve your problem you know you didn't think you could solve it and they can because they have special phone numbers to call these places they do this all the time you'll vote for that son of a gun no matter what they do <laughs> and they'll stay in office forever i just saying solving little problems like that every day so it's important and the other thing all these sources you contact you know um even if they don't have what you need Never leave empty-handed. It's important that you ask them for suggestions on where else you could get that help. Because they're in that business, they will know things that I probably don't even know or something new or something's coming down the, the pike that could help you. So always, when you're contacting and looking for help, don't leave empty-handed no matter what. Just tell me what you want free money for. I mean, if it's helping you pay your bills or, or starting a business or going back to school or just living expenses, man, while you're trying to do something in life, I know I can show you stuff that you never dreamed of. You'll never find it in Google either because the stuff you see there is people who are trying to sell you something. All the free stuff in life doesn't pop up in there because they're not going to spend money trying to figure out how to get to the first page. So nobody knows they're there, but I've been studying this stuff for over 40 years. That's right. I've helped fortune 500 companies millionaires and everything take advantage of this stuff Most of it has no income requirements at all You just have to know where it is and let me show you man. That's what I've been doing for 40 years I plan to do it for at least 20 or 30 more <laughs> So look at my website. I'll show you all the free sources that I I, I will talk about that I can show you and share with you. I'll do customized research for you. I have programs and research packages already categorized and ready for you to use. So almost anything in it, it's called lesgotutor.com. Right. <laughs> Don't struggle in Google. Just go to lesgotutor.com. I'll do all that stuff for you and you just have to fill out the applications.